Today's math strategy video is on understanding division with unit fractions. So let's look at our first example problem. We want to think about what does dividing a unit fraction by a whole number mean? So our example problem says Ms. Cook wants to share one fourth pound of fish equally among three cats. That means she needs to divide one fourth into three equal parts. You can draw an area model to represent the problem. So what our kind of our, you know, think about problem right here, this first, you know, essential question, it says, what is dividing a unit fraction by a whole number mean? So when you think about, we have a fourth pound of fish. Okay, so we have a fourth pound and we wanna divide it equally among the three cats. So what that means is that we're going to end up with a fraction because we're taking a fourth and we're going to we're going to take it apart in the three sections. And so we're going to have something even smaller. So and you'll see um, later on in another problem why that's very important. So to know, am I going to get a fraction in this problem or am I going to get a whole number? So in this problem, we're going to be getting a fraction because we are taking the fraction and we're dividing it by a whole number. So here I have already started my model. So this, these are the one fourth. So this is the fourth can, or sorry, pound of a fish that the cats are going to share equally. So if I have three cats here, I'm going to divide this into three sections equally as I can. So this would be cat one, cat two, and cat three. Okay, so now this model is different. The denominator was four, but now that I've divided it into three sections, I have a different denominator. So I'm gonna count these up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 as my denominator, and I can see that each cat is gonna get one twelfth. One twelfth is what each cat is going to receive. So if I think about this, I have one fourth divided by three. And so I can um, show this as a multiplication problem also. So it would be one fourth times one third is one twelfth. Because if you're thinking about thinking about this, I am taking a fourth and then I'm multiplying it by a third um, to show that I'm making a new denominator of 12. Let's look at another, let's look at the same problem, but let's look at another model to do it. Okay, so here I have the same problem. I have one fourth pound of fish and I'm e dividing equally among three cats. So here I have my three cats. Okay, so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to divide these sections into fourths. So here is cat one. Here's cat two. And here's cat three, okay? Now I know that each cat is getting one fourth. And so this rep this right here represents each of these one fourth sections. I can also think about that, um, you know, one fourth is what I had, but I also, and if you, you're not sure about how much each one would get, one fourth would equal what, I've got a new denominator of 12 and it would equal three. So that means I would divide these three among each of the cats. And so that would also have me um, with the answer, one twelfth pound of fish for each cat. Let's look at another problem. So this problem says teams of students in Mr. Reed's classroom are presenting social studies project. Each team has one fifth hour for their presentation. How many projects are presented in two hours? Okay, so what is so important right here is this question. So when we think about, um, am I going to be 
uh, dividing a fraction by a whole number or a whole number by a fraction. And so what can help me out here is, am I going to get a fraction or a whole number? So if I want to know how many projects, I'm not going to have a fifth of a project or a fourth of a project or a third of a project. I'm going to have whole projects. So I'm going to be getting a whole number. So that tells me that I'm going to be taking two and I'm dividing it by one fifth. So let's look down here um, at our example and our model and see if that can help us out. It says the two large rectangles represent the two hours. So this would be one hour and this represents the second hour. And so we have each part divided into fifths. So there would be one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths and five fifths. So if each presentation takes one fifth of an hour, well, I see here that five projects can get done in an hour. So if five can get done in one hour, then I know that I'd have another five in the other hour. So I would have 10 projects that could be completed within the two hours. So I can also think about this as like two, divided by one-fifth is also the same as two times five, which is 10. Also something to think about is, you know, if I have, let me show the, if this is one hour, so that would be 60 minutes, how many minutes would it take to present each project? So here are my fifths. I got one, two, three, four, five, each, each representing a project. So this would be a project, another project, another project. So if I took 60 minutes and I divided it by five, that would tell me how many minutes each project would take. So roughly 12 minutes per project. All right, that is the end of today's math strategy video.